Well, you have a point, but still. Mr. Sherwood, what if I accompany Janice? I will ensure she returns here safely. Oh, well, um... That's fine, isn't it? She'll be under the protection of a Dragoon Commander. Nothing could be safer than that. Mr. Sherwood eyes the Commander hesitantly for a few moments, then sighs. Y yes I think you're right. Very well, Commander. I shall leave Janice in your care. You can count on me, sir. I will keep her safe. Yay, we get to go with the wolf. The reasonable adult, yes. <laughs> Mr. Sherwood just nods. There's nothing more that needs to be said. Okay, I'm going now. I walk to the gate again, and this time nobody stops, stops me. Instead, I feel a gigantic presence behind me. I don't know my way around the city. I've just been randomly roaming through random streets and alleyways with Commander patiently following behind me. As we walk further from Eclipse, I notice the buildings getting increasingly taller and the streets flooded with more and more people. I don't think Drake could be here. Look at all these people. He'd suffocate in a place like this. Yes, this is the way to the city center. The city center? Huh. We are already quite far from the madhouse. I'm surprised you can walk this far and not even break a sweat. Huh, I'm also surprised, but for a different reason. This guy has been following me this entire time, and the first thing he tells me is that we've been going in the wrong direction. So when did he realize we were heading completely in the wrong direction? Not too long after we left. You should have told me. Ah, oh, my apologies. My duty was only to guard you. In the, the guard part is including uh, directions, sir. <laughs> He's like, I'll wait for her to figure it out. I kind of self-composed about it, too. <laughs> but yeah. Finding that kid could take a while. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but... Duty, huh? Let's go back. I turn around and start walking. Forgive me, I'm not used to these sorts of missions. Normally I just follow the king's order. Granted, I give orders to my subordinates, but you're not one of my subordinates. I stop to turn to face commander. Commander? Yes? Who ordered you to be my bodyguard? Commander hesitates. Well, nobody. I just thought that. Good. <laughs> Apparently, I got my point across since Commander's mouth simply remains open. <laughs> I turn back and continue walking. For a while, I don't hear Commander's footsteps, but then he suddenly appears next to me. Okay, I understand. Nobody orders anybody. Is that right? Yeah, we could be like two detectives working together. What do you call them? Hmm, partners? Partners, yeah. I like the sound of that. Kind of like those things where one's a good cop and the other's a, a bad cop. No, not real. You could be the bad cop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can be the good cop and I'll be the bad cop. He'll be the good one that goes, oh, come with us, bully guy, and she'll be like, I'm gonna beat you up if you don't go. <laughs> that sounds like that. It sounds like Janice and Wolf style. <laughs> huh? Now let's find Drake. Where do you think he'd be? Well, if I had social phobia, I'd want to be someplace without many people. Good thinking, Commander. Any guesses as to where something like that might be? 
Eclipse is located near the outskirts of town, near the magic machine factories. A lot of people live in the area, but the areas around the factories are usually pretty empty. Nobody wants to be near the factories when they're not scheduled to be. I see. Well, let's go check out one of those then. Let's try one close to Eclipse. Lead the way, Commander. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I like the sound of that. Nobody's ever called me ma'am before. Aww. Is this the place? Yes. I look around, but Drake is nowhere to be seen. Do you see him? Afraid not. Let's ask someone. I see a man standing next to a cart full of bottles of water. He must be one of those people who can summon water clean enough to drink. I remember Enna telling me about them. Even though many people can cast water spells, the water usually isn't portable. Uh, the few who are able to can usually sell it for a solid profit. I stride over to him. Have you seen a teenage boy around here? Huh? At first, the man looks startled, having suddenly been asked a question, but he quickly composes himself and smiles. A lot of boys pass through this street every day. What does this boy look like? I try to remember what Drake looks like. Hmm. He looks like a miserable teenage boy who got his butt kicked by a younger girl. Janice! <laughs> Physical description would be nice. Huh? It's like he bullied her a lot. I can't believe he doesn't remember what he looks like. He has like that hat, some brown hair, some blue eyes. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Man, Wolf's mad about that. He's like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> the, boy, the boy is only a little older than this girl. He has short, dark brown hair and was last seen wearing a blue shirt under a white jacket. He might have looked shy or perhaps scared. I got to pause to think about that. He's like, he looked. <laughs> like, I don't want him to look like a jerk. <laughs> oh, I remember that boy. I tried to offer him some water because he was sweating. It was really wobbly, but he just completely ignored me. I hope he's okay. Do you remember which way he went? That way. <laughs> the man points at an alley between a coffee shop and what appears to be some kind of Small office building. Thank you. You're welcome, officer. Officer, how did he know that commander is a police officer? Are we doing this good cop, bad cop thing so well that people immediately recognize us as the police? <laughs> I stare at commander as we head toward the alley. Maybe something about his face, like those scars. I do find those scars a little unusual. There aren't many people with scars on their face since they can just be healed with magic. Wounds only leave scars if they are allowed to heal naturally. But I doubt you can tell whether someone's a cop or not from the presence of a scar, so it couldn't be that. Oh, it's his clothes. That must be the Dragoon's police uniform. I thought they looked a little peculiar. Commander looks back at me. He must have noticed me staring. You certainly had an interesting way of describing Drake's appearance. Yeah, my feelings got the better of me. Well, the man asked me what he looks like. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Even if that's true, it's not very descriptive. Really? I figured there could be lots of boys with short hair and a white jacket. But not many who got their butts kicked by a girl. She's just rubbing it in, just rubbing the salt in the wound. <laughs> that isn't wrong, but... Speaking of which, what technique was that? Huh? The technique you used to throw him. That was the first time I'd seen something like that. 
tech commander about my technique, don't say anything. Um, well, it's not technically... If he's talking about magic technique, it's not like magic. But I think he's just talking about the throw itself. It's like, what's the throw you use? What's it called? Do we, I don't even think it has a name. I don't even think she knows it has a name. It's just like street fighting. Hmm. Maybe. But this is a, that. But that would be a sign of trust. Telling mm -hmm. the commander would be like, oh, I trust you to know my knowledge. Yeah, I guess so. I'm just like, what if she makes something up when we tell him that? Like, like <laughs> the name for the technique. <laughs> Which one do you want to go with? Oh man, we already said yes to finding Drake, so I don't know where to go from here. We already got a point with Drake. I'm still bothered by that. Um, <laughs> I want to not say anything because I feel like she's gonna give it a, a name. Like, it was. But what if it's technique. an actual technique, though? Oh, that's true. Which one but do you want to do? Be practiced. Huh? Which one do you want to do? Because, like, I'm, like, not sure which one I want to do. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Well, he's her bodyguard. She seems to trust him, I think. He seems to care about what her what she can do. Was impressed when she took down those bullies. Yeah, she seems very straightforward, too. Yeah, so if it really is a technique, she'll be straightforward about it. Yeah. If it's not a real technique, she'll probably be like, No, oh, it's nothing really, sir. <laughs> yeah. Just this and that. So should we just tell them? Yeah, she'd probably tell them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've come this far. And we got a plus. Yay! A plus with Wolf. Oh, that? I don't know the name. Before I was admitted to Eclipse, my part, um, I used to see the circus show. The performers were immigrants from the East. Does that mean she's part of circus and she's trying to cover it up? Oh, look at her face. You know, oh. those people with yellowish skin and squinty eyes. They don't like that description, but yes, I know who you're talking about. We enter the alley. It's more or less deserted, so Drake could definitely have gone this way. Anyway, there was this part of the show where the performers would attack each other. Not with magic, though. Just their hands and feet. Most people in the audience just laughed at them, but there was this one performance that I found fascinating. 